Uh, welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to need to find the measure of each number angles. And you see we have three of them, one, two, and three. And for that reason, I'm going to use this theorem you see down here. The sum of the measure of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. Uh, and I'm going to start with this angle one. Because if you notice, this angle one is in triangle JFG. And in that triangle, we know two angles. This is 55, this is 68. We can find angle 1. I'm going to use the theorem I just mentioned. And I'm going to say measure of angle 1 plus 55 plus 68. So the measure of these three angles equals 180. So now I'm going to have to add 55 and 68. 55 plus 68. That will be 123 equals 180. And the last step, we're going to subtract 123 on both sides. And we finish with angle 1. Measure of angle 1 is 180 minus 123. I end up with 57 degrees. Uh, so we finish with angle 1, we can move to angle 2. If you notice, angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. Why? Because these angles are vertical angles. So the measure of angle 2 will be the same with the measure of angle 1, so 57 degrees. And we have one more to find out. That will be angle 3, which is right here. But again, remember, this one is 57. So we can move in the other triangle, in the triangle J, I, H. And in that triangle, we're going to use the same theorem, this theorem, which says the sum of the measure of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. So we have the measure of angle 3, the one we need to find out, plus this 57, the measure of angle 2, we just found out, plus this 74 equals 180. And now again, we're going to combine the two values, 57 and 74. We're going to add them. That is 131 equals 180. The last step, we're going to subtract 131 here. And we have the measure of angles 3 equal 180 minus 131 is 49 degrees. And that's it for this problem. If you enjoy this problem, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.